In April this year, I went with my husband on a trip to the coast of South England. What a beautiful place to be. Such an impressive landscape and also a place so rich with pigments. But a lot of people don't live close to such glorious places. I don't. So let's start where it all begins. At home. Two years ago I switched from painting with acrylic paint to painting with earth pigments. I did this change because of my love for nature and the urge to live a sustainable life that isn't harmful to our planet. Today I cannot imagine going back to acrylics. Painting with earth pigments makes me so much happier. It brings me to gorgeous places and makes me feel connected with the landscape of our planet in such a special way. I'm in love with the earthy colors and tangible textures it provides to my canvas and the meditative process of grinding the rocks and making the paint. There is still a lot for me to learn and explore as well, but today I want to share with you what I learned so far about finding those natural pigments to make your own paint. Naturally, when starting out, you will look for pigments close to your home. I live in the Netherlands, a small and very flat country with lots of agricultural fields. Not exactly the best place to forage for pigments. But luckily I found out there are pigments to be found almost anywhere. I live at the edge of a city and on the sandy roadsides here you can find construction debris. I have found a lot of pieces of brick stones that probably were part of a building before. Bricks are basically fired clay and come in a variety of colors. Mostly I found the typical red ones, but there were also orange, yellow and even purple colored pieces. A lot of these brick chunks were very easy to process and give a rich color. You can test whether a stone is soft enough to make into paint by scratching it onto a harder rock surface. Does it leave traces of color? Then you're good. If it only leaves white scratch marks, it is probably too hard. Close to my home there is also a forest. Besides rocks, you can also look for pigmented soil. I was lucky to find a spot with beautiful yellow ochre colored soil. However, I must admit, in these more urban areas and flat countrysides, it is definitely harder to find vibrant pigmented soil and rocks that are soft enough to be made into paint. It might take you some hours of walking around to find some sweet spots, but you can also see this as an invitation to explore your home area in a different way and start seeing the colors underneath your feet. It is also an invitation to experiment. Look around when you're outside. What can possibly be turned into paint? During my walks I found an abandoned campfire for example and I used the charcoal to create black and the ashes to create grey paint. At a rocky shore such as the coast in South England there is an abundance of beautiful rich pigment. I found those coastal pigments to be much softer, almost melting between your fingers and leaving a trace of their color on your hands immediately. So to sum things up, while the rocky coasts are my favorite places to find pigments so far, I learned that you can find them anywhere if you look at your surroundings with an open creative mind and are willing to experiment. No matter where you collect natural material, please always be respectful to the landscape. Only take small amounts and never dig into the cliffs with a hammer. Just collect what is already loose. Have a beautiful day.